Good morning. I am sorry I was one minute late. Oh Lord, got caught up in singing a song. That's what happens. How is everybody this morning? I'm so glad to see you this morning. Another beautiful day and the weather is cooler today. And Miss Jessica's kind of a hot mess today, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm here. I'm happy. All right. Well, let's see. Um, let's see who's here this morning. I think Peyton is here. Good morning, Miss Peyton. How are you? How are you? Good morning, Emma. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. I bet y'all are so big. You've gotten so big since I've seen you last. Hi, good morning, Emerson. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad you're joining me, buddy. Oh my goodness. Remember, um, so not remember, but if you're just joining me, <laughs> my name is Miss Jessica. And I am a teacher at the Music Garden. Oh, you see my sign there? I'm moving my head. I'm here in Peachtree City, and I am bringing you some live music classes for pure enjoyment during this crazy time we have. So, um, so once you hop on, let me know who's here so I can give a shout out and let, and say good morning to all my special, special, special friends, because. That's the best part of it, is to see who joins and see who's here. Uh, let's see, I knew that, ah, Yara, Miss Yara, how are you? And where's Ariana? Is that Ariana out there? Oh my goodness, Ariana, I bet you're so big now. And Yara, I bet Yara, I bet y'all are so big. Oh my goodness, y'all are just growing. I've seen pictures and everybody's just growing so fast. All right, so we're gonna get started with our hello song with our hello song. So um, if you joined me yesterday, um, Miss Jessica is kind of standing in water right now, like in parts of my floor in here, I have a leak, so I'm waiting on the plumbers. So things have been a little bit crazy. So if it takes me a second to find something, I have had to shove everything to like one side. Luckily, like where I'm standing, it's dry. So I think we got the leak stopped, but we don't know the problem. So that'll be fun. All right, guys, let's warm up with our hello song. You ready? Here we go. Grab your waving hands. Everybody sing hello, sing hello, sing hello. Everybody sing hello, just like me. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, just like me. What about our ears can we tap our ears can you find your ears everybody tap your ears tap your ears tap your ears everybody tap your ears just like me that's right hmm let's see i bet we could tap our tummy can we tap our tummy here we go everybody tap your tummy tap your tummy tap your tummy everybody tap your tummy just like me very nice what about, can we wiggle our fingers? Can you wiggle your fingers? Everybody wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers. Everybody wiggle your fingers just like me. Good morning, Peyton. How are you? Good morning, Emma. Where's Emerson? Let's see, where's Emerson? Good morning, Emerson. Let's see. I think Yara's there. Good morning, Miss Yara. And good morning, Ariana. Yes. So if you're hopping on, let me know who's here so I can sing hello to you. Excellent. All right. Let's get bouncing with our frogs. We're going to do this frog song one more time. And then on Friday, it changes. Good morning, Millie. Hello, Millie. How are you, sweetheart? I hope you enjoyed some time, your vacation time. All right. So, guys, um, so I am changing the the bouncing song on Friday, okay? So um, make sure to tune in. One thing I wanted to say is that if you're just joining me and you're not in my class, <gasps> Good morning, Ryder. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad to see you're here. 
Good, oh, excuse me, good morning, Ryder. Something that if you're just joining on and you've watched a couple of my classes and you're going, man, she kind of does the same thing every time. Okay, there's a point to that, guys. Kids like repetition at this age. So it's not for the parents, I, you know, I mean, unless you just enjoy the music, but it's for the kids, guys. So if you're watching this and you're like, why does she do the same thing and mix it up only a little bit? It's because kids want that repetition. They they crave that. They It's stability for them. So there's method to my madness there. All right, let's get ready to jump with our frogs. The frogs. Playing from Jessica's oh, iPhone. Sis it every time. Sis a wish, sis a wish. Ha, 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 ha. Here we go. We're just bouncing up and down. So if you're new, Let's go, frogs. what I want you to do is just put them in your lap and bounce well, them up and down. Your babies. Let's go. Now, sometimes I have some bigger go. kids in this class, and that's great. If you're bigger Under the sun, and you're like walking, go. running, go ahead and jump for me. Bibupa. Watch those frogs. Watch them. Leap over, over here, leap over, over there, leap to the bar, leap to the bar. Hi, Ripley! Let's see. Hi, Will! Leap in squares and leap in lines and leap to keep in perfect time. Oh, yeah. They hop and they hop. Oh, yeah. Out of the rest of Oh yeah, they hop and they hop, away, away, away. The frogs. Oh my God, to get, I forgot to get my um frog to visit. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Ripley. Bouncing up and down, guys. Let's go, frogs. Well, the frog said, let's go. Oh, that's better. The other frog said, let's go. Under the sun and over the log. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Watch those frogs. Here he comes. Watch them leap over here, leap over there, leap to the barn, leap to the fair. Oh. They've been marching, they've been May, and leap to keep the flies away. Leap all over, big full moon, leap till midnight, leap till noon. Leap in squares and leap in lines and leap to keep in perfect time. Oh, yeah. They hop and they, they hop. hop. Oh, yeah. They don't ever stop. Oh, yeah, they hop and they hop away, 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 Excellent. All right. So those that are just joining me, this is my friend, Fred, Fred the Frog. Um, so Miss Jessica does a little bit of a silly thing. You're going to notice as you graduate into the older classes, I name all, a lot of my animals are Fred. So Fred the Frog, Fred the Dinosaur. Who else do I have? I don't know. I can think about it later. But this is Fred the Thinking Frog. Do you see how he's thinking? He just sits and stares at me on the desk. I don't know what he's thinking. Do you know what he's thinking? I have no clue. All right. So today we're going to need, like, like every time, we're going to need our wooden spoons. And we're going to need our scarves. All right. We're going to need those in just a minute. But the first thing is I need some flying arms. Can I have some flying arms? All right, this next song is our ABCs, okay? So we're going to fly around the room as we listen to our ABC song. It's a very peaceful um, arrangement of this song. Here we go. It's so peaceful. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, Very 
very good. All right, this means sing. If you ever see me do this, this means sing. We start learning our sign language um, very early in this program. Um, so there's few words that we start doing here, but then really we, we um, do a lot of it in the poppies class, which is the next age up. All right, guys. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Did I have some beautiful flying? Oh, that was so peaceful. That was perfect. Just what Miss Jessica needed. Now the next one, you might not have anything that shakes, but if you do, you can grab it. This is our shaker hop. And we're gonna shake in and shake out. All right? And we're gonna put our arms in and put our arms out. So just follow Miss Jessica. This is a fun one. We haven't done this one yet. <laughs> Put your shaker in. Can you shake your hands? Put your shaker out. Good. Do the shaker hop. And hop, hop, hop. Good. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Now, parents, the shaker help me with this one. Hop, hop, hop. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Now, just dance. Are you dancing? Good job. We're just feeling the beat. Oh, good job, Emery. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. That's a dancing. Emery, I am so proud of you for helping your little brother. That's an awesome big sister. Nice. I see some good dancing. One more time. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Put your shaker in. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Put your shaker in. Good job. Put your shaker out. Do the shaker hop. Three times. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, good job, guys. That was awesome. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get out our sticks. Can we go ahead and get our sticks? There you go. Wooden spoons, plastic spoons. Um uh silicone, you know, what are those those kind? Um any <laughs> cooking utensils. Uh, nothing sharp, please. Nothing sharp. Um, so we're going to tap two together. Now, this next song has a few instructions, but we don't have to follow them. Guys, for the little ones, we're just keeping the tap. Let them explore the stick however they want to tap. It's fine. Now, if you have an extra set for the parent, that's great. The parents can keep the steady beat. If your kids are not exactly at the steady beat, that's fine. Let them be. They're exploring they're listening. We're trying to get those active listeners going. All right, here we go. Oop, there we go. Tap, tap, tap. Tap your sticks. Oh, dear. Let's try that again. With the one, two, three, tap your... We got to start that again. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Good. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Good. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the right with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks to the left. Rub your sticks Now, does it make a different sound? It gets... Hey, listen. There you go. Don't let him go. 
careful. Good job. Let's roll them again. Listen. Oh, they sound different. Now watch this. Where'd they go? Oh, oh. Here they are. Cross your sticks and your knees with the one, two. Now you see how I'm just sticking to it. Stay with tap. Cross your sticks, tap your knees with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks and you in with the one, two, three. Hammer left with the right, with the one, two, three. Hammer right with the left, with the one. Two, I don't know. See, I'm just gonna tap. Hammer left with the right, with the one, two. Three. This backwards Hammer thing gets me. I think I'm backwards. Oh, here we go. It's going to make a different sound. Nice. Don't let go. Don't let go. Oh, I forgot. There you go. Stand close behind you. Where did they go? Here they are. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks in the air. Y'all are awesome, guys. I love this. Good job. Oh my goodness. My technology. You know how you put it on do not disturb? It's on do not disturb, and it disturbed. Oh man. Okay, Peyton, I might need help from your daddy. He kind of knows stuff from the computer. Good Lord, I'm telling you. But you know what? I just roll with it, right? It's just, you know, it's not that big of a deal. All right, what do we have next? Let's see. We need our listening ears. Do you have your listening ears? Can you show me? I got mine. Do you have yours? Oh, so parents, especially if they're really little, go ahead and do what Miss Jessica's doing. So hold your ears like you're listening. So they're seeing that visual thing. You're doing something different, okay? And that's teaching them this is how we listen. We listen with our ears. All right, see what sound this is. You might know it. We did it on Monday, I think. I think. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, uh, uh. Does anybody know what that is? Do you remember? Let's do it one more time. And I'll give you a hint. He lives in a pasture. Okay? And he kind of looks like a horse but he's smaller and then his face is different and his yeah i don't, I don't know my animals that well so like so he lives in a pasture okay but he's a small he's smaller all right see if you can if you can tell what this is uh, 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 uh. I think I know who it is. Is this him? Echo Don, were you making that noise? Man, he was talkative this morning. Echo Don is a donkey. Do y'all see the donkey? Yeah, he's very sweet. I really love him. Um, so he likes to get in some mischief in my house. Um, this, so we've had to have, um, they're not in here right now because I moved them out for class, but we have these giant fans in here right now because behind me where the music garden sign is, so that closet is now empty and, um, that's where our leak is. And so we've had giant fans in here blowing all night, trying to dry up whatever we can. The leak has stopped. So that's good news. So uh, this morning, guess where I found Echo Dawn? He was riding on top of one of the fans. But Miss Jessica, I was dealing with a lot and I forgot to get a picture. So I will see if I can catch a picture of him doing something silly today. 
I bet you he's going to, because he always does. I, yesterday, I found him in the refrigerator. That's not a good place for donkeys. They don't fit well. All right, guys. So if you are just joining me, these are my Echo Puppets. All right, I have many Echo Puppets, and if you have been in class with me, you know what my Echo Puppets do. We echo whatever Echo Don says, my donkey, you get to repeat. I'm going to do a couple with you, and then I'm going to try to be quiet and let you do it, okay? We'll see how that goes. Sometimes I forget to be quiet. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's get a beat going. So parents, we're going to tap on our legs. Tap, tap, tap. I don't know if you can hear that. Tap, 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 tap. That's our steady beat. We're going to keep it going while Echo Don sings. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, wait a minute. Why do we do this? This sounds crazy. This sounds so silly. Okay, as parents, it does. I will agree that in the car, when you're driving down the road and there's two of y'all and y'all are doing it back and forth, it kind of does feel a little awkward if you're not used to it. I'm completely used to it. I'll do it in the grocery store. It doesn't bother me. But this is so important, guys, for the kids' language development. It's also once again, using our ears, teach it active listeners because they're having to respond to what they heard, okay? They're not responsive listeners making up their own thing. They need to listen to whatever your echo puppet is. So if you have a stuffed animal, okay, that's great. If you don't, just use, just use you. See if you can echo, say, see if you can echo mommy. <clears throat> see if you can echo daddy. But if they're really little guys and they're not into, they're not ready to echo yet, Okay, my one's definitely under one, all right? One and a half under, let's, let's say one and a half. Under one and a half, parents, this is great for you to do back and forth. So they hear the echo. Does that make sense? Okay, all right, let's try it again. Here's our beat. Tap, 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 tap. Ba, 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 ba. Good job. Ba, ba, ba. Here you go. Ba, ba. Ba, 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 excellent. And sometimes he likes to just do words. Would you like to do some words? Okay, you ready? Hi, hi, hello, hello, bye, bye. Are you leaving me? Oh, darn, man, he's leaving for a second. Maybe he'll come back in like two seconds, okay? He's gonna come back. He's gonna go get some water. Are you thirsty? Yeah. Okay, he's gonna go get some water. All right, his, his might be messy, so I apologize. He could just drink off the floor. That would be good. All right, so now I need you to stand up and pretend to hop on your own, your own donkey. Can you hop on your own donkey? All right, what do you think? Oh, thanks, thanks, Jason. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna hop on our own donkey and we're gonna go for a donkey ride. Now, Echo Don is coming back, he got his water, and he's gonna help us with this next song. All right, so we're going to go riding all around the room. Good morning, Leticia. Oh, I have missed you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Um, all right, let's see. Can you hop on your donkey? And we're going to go riding around the room. Nice. Now, Miss Jessica, stay in here so I don't come out of the street. But feel free to go around your room. Take that donkey on a ride. He's kind of hoppy. He likes the head dancing. Good job. This is a fun donkey. Where are you going, Echo Don? 
Where'd he go? Oh, I think he went around my kitchen. Let's see if he's coming back. There he is. There you go. Good. I see some excellent donkey riding. Beautiful. If you can hear me, you don't have to see me exactly. Go everywhere. Go where you can go. Miss Jessica stays in this little spot just because I'm by my camera. And if I disappear, you can't really hear me and you don't see what I'm doing. So Miss Jessica kind of stays local, but you can travel as far as you can. All right. Okay. Can you say bye-bye to the Echo Dawn? Can you say bye to the kids? Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, he's gonna come give a kiss. Watch out, remember it's a slobbery one. Oh, he licked my camera. Oh, Echo Don. It's kind of slobbery. Ugh. Anyway, but he's a sweetheart. Okay, I promise I'm gonna try to catch him in some funny places, okay? And I'll put I'll put pictures down in the comments so you can see him and show your kids. All right, bye, Echo Don. All right, you got your scarf out? You got your scarf? All right, let's go peekaboo. You ready? So we're going to put the scarf on top of our head. Remember, if you don't have a scarf, dish towel, kitchen towel, um, T-shirt, anything that you can put over your head and play peekaboo with. All right, let's see. Uh-oh, where's Miss Jessica? Has anybody seen Miss Jessica? Boo! Here, zillies. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Peek a boo, peek a boo, peek a peek a peek a boo. Nice, good job. So, do you see how we finish with that boo at the end? All right, that's when we pull the scarves off. Here we go. Peek a boo, peek a boo, peek a peek a peek a. Boo. Nice. Okay. Most of y'all in here that I can see that I've heard names from, they are, um, they've been with me for a while. So you know what's going to happen next. Oh, here we go. Peek a boo. Peek a boo. Peek a peek a peek a. Boo. So we're going to hold off the boo at the end. Do you see how I waited? All right, what I'm doing is seeing if the kids will fill that boo in. They like it putting an ending on something, okay? They want that resolution. So let's try it. Remember, we're not going to say the boo quite right away. We're going to see if the kids say it. And then I'm going to say it to finish it, okay? Just in case some of the kids are shy and they don't say it. And that's okay. That's okay. They will, I promise. This is one they will. Peek a boo, peek a boo, peek a peek a peek a boo. Oh my goodness, y'all are excellent pros at this. That was awesome, guys. All right, can you take your scarf? Miss Jessica has um kind of gone over. If you want to hang with me, I'm gonna do a book. Okay, because I just realized it's right at 1030 and hello. So I just had too much fun today. I don't want to hang up. All right, so we're going to do a book called Home on the Range. Has anybody ever heard this story? All right, look, there's my deer and the antelope. I guess he's more of an antelope. Deer and antelope. Wait, there's the antelope. Yep. And we got some people playing instruments. And we got a bunny. There's a bunny in this book. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, some people and animals, they make their homes on the range, okay? It's like a big pasture. 
All right, these wide open prairies can stretch for miles and miles. And most people think that prairies are peaceful places. They sure do look peaceful. Oh, look at this, let's see. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. Where the air is so pure, and the clouds are so white, and the breeze is so cool and so light, that I would not exchange my home on the range for all of the city so bright. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Do you see they're playing musical instruments? Look at that. <clears throat> How often at night, where the skies are so bright, with the lights of the glittering stars, have I stood there amazed and wondered as I gazed how far away those brilliant lights are. Have you ever seen stars at night? Yeah. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, I love these wild prairies where I roam, and I love the meadow larks that sing, the prairie dog towns and the rabbits that Bound, and the coyotes and their howling. Oh, do you see all that? Those animals? <clears throat> home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Good job. If you're one of my older kids, look right here on the yellow paper, the orange paper. I don't know. That is called music. That's our music, guys. That's where it lives. And so we can read it. Guys, this has been a great start to my morning. So I just want to say I love these classes. There's a reason I teach these classes at the studio and I continue them here because they are such a bright sunshine in my day. Well, no matter what is going on, I always tell parents, you're having a, just an off day? Come to a music class. I'll tell you, it just, it uplifts you and just puts you in such a happy place. Thank you so much. Thank you for hanging in with me as I went over a little bit. I apologize for that. I just get too excited. I really could just keep going, but um, I understand, you know, we got other things to do and stuff. So. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing everybody on Friday. Remember, I have added that Saturday 10 o'clock class. So that way more families can join together because I know we have working parents out there. So Saturdays at 10. Remember, this during the week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 10 o'clock right here live on the Music Gardens Facebook page. Let your friends know. Bring your families. Guys, I'm going to continue doing this through the end of May. All right, May 30th, and then the format's gonna change. To give you a heads up, we are actually opening the studio in June, okay? Now, that being said, it's slowly gonna be opening. We're changing class sizes, they're gonna be smaller. We're doing a lot of different things for the whole, you know, restarting and social distancing and the, all that kind of stuff. So we're working on that. Um, but just to let you know, registration is open. Okay, and I am going to get in touch with everybody that's been on my lives and let them know what's going on in a little bit more detail so I don't bore you with the talk now. All right, guys, enjoy this beautiful day. Go out and enjoy some sunshine. Thank you for joining Miss Jessica this morning. I love each and every one of you. I miss everybody. 
I cannot wait to see how big everybody's gotten when I see you in person. And if I haven't met you yet, I look forward to meeting you soon. I can't wait. I've had some kids on here that I just can't wait to meet. So this has been this has been really exciting. All right, guys, um, hug your little ones for me. I wish I could hug them and give them stickers right now, but I'll give you like a boatload of stickers when you get back to the studio. All right, guys, enjoy your day, and I will see you on Friday. All right, let's sing goodbye. Everybody sing goodbye, sing goodbye, sing goodbye. Everybody sing goodbye. I'll see you on Friday. And then maybe again on Saturday. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now remember, if you have preschool students, Tuesday, Thursday, 11 o'clock is my preschool class. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.